Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we want to take a look at N8M and Bolter DIY and how to use it to function as an AI image analyzer. So here's an example I've built quickly. And in this video, I want to show you how to do it and how to use the N8M workflow and how to configure it. So let's start. The first thing you need to do is go to my GitHub page. I link in the description below. Then you just go here on the right side to copy raw file, to copy the workflow. Go back to your N8N instance. If you don't know how to install and how to use it, check out my other videos on that. And create here a new workflow. This is an empty workflow. And now you can just paste it in when, with Control V and you got the workflow. Okay, you can now here on top rename the workflow if you like, image analyzer, and we can quickly take a look at the nodes within the workflow. The first one is the webhook. Webhook we need to trigger by our example application then. We built with Bolter DIY then. The next one is we convert it to a base64 string. One thing we need to make sure is uh, we have here image we need to make sure our front end application provides as input an image, or we need it to change to file, but we will see this later. Um, the next thing is the general image prompt. So this is the, the prompt sent to the AI to do the image analysis. So you could change this one if you want specific analysis on the image or another output structure, then you could change the user prompt here. The next step is the request body. Um, just one important thing here. I use the Llama 3.2 vision model. So if you want to use another local model in your Llama, just change the model name here. The next thing is the actual request to Olama. So here is the configuration to Olama. If you want to use the Olama within the Docker stack, then just replace this again with Olama as shown in my other videos. But I have a local installed Olama, as you can see here in my task tray list. And I want to use this because my AMD GPU does not work within the Olama container. Okay, that's all for this one. Then we create a result object, just a manual mapping here, nothing to do. Edit fields, also nothing to do. To do, we just get the content out of it and pass it then to the webhook, which is the response to our frontend application. So this is everything here. If you configured everything, you need to save your workflow here on top, and then also make sure you put it active. Okay, the next thing is to go to your bolt.diy instance and we start a new project. So we are clean. I want to use Anthropic and Cloud 3.7 because it works best for me. And then I prepared a prompt to generate the application. Um, if you don't know how to install bolt.diy, check out my install guides here on top. And yeah, for all others, we can just go on. You can for sure also use other AI coding assistants like Bolt.new or Lovable or whatever. So it doesn't matter which one you want to use. It's just an example of how to build an formal application. Okay, and the prompt here I prepared is build a web app with React and Tailwind CSS with the following requirements. So we want the user to upload an image. The image is sent then to the webhook I just showed. So we want to have it configurable in the settings in the front end. And the default is the one from the webhook. I can quickly show this again where you can get this. Here in your workflow, go to webhook. And then here on the tab production URL, you see this URL, you can just click it one time and it's copied and then just put it in your prompt. The next thing is response is a description of the image in Markdown. 
So yeah, the next one is we want to show the image plus the description in a nice clean UI. Yeah, user can see all his uploaded images, so not just the last one. Yeah, just a few things for the UI, animation effects, stunning, outstanding UI to hopefully make it look good. And you want to have a uh, debug logging in the dev console in case there's something wrong. Okay, the last thing here is um, a second prompt we will do as soon as fails one time because we don't know the output format of the webhook at the moment. So we can just do this later because we don't have a manual step for testing it here. So it's just a webhook. You could also do a curl or whatever, but yeah, let's just do this in the application. Then we also see the debug logging if it is working correctly. Okay, go back to Bolt, paste your prompt in, and yeah, we use enhance prompt here to get better results. So it will enhance this prompt a bit with more details. And then we fire it up. Okay, it's now, now done implementing, but it didn't start the application. So let's do this manually quickly. Let's check the, in yeah, the installation was already done, but it did not run the dev server. So let's do npm run dev here in the console to see the application is working and there's a, an error. So let's copy paste them here to get it fixed quickly. So by the way, I did no, no other prompt. So this was, this is now the second prompt. Okay. Now, now it's done. Let's start it again. And the application is working. We got an AI image analyzer. We got a drag and drop field here. So let's check this out. Yeah, that's working. And now click analyze image and we got failed to fetch because in the web container we don't have access to the other local um, instances so we need to sync this out to get it work so let me quickly open a folder here on my system okay i got this folder here and we can just use sync files here now in bolt.diy and go to this folder, select folder. Yes, allow the saving and the syncing. And if we open it again, we now got all files here in my host system in this folder. So we can now open a CMD here, do in npm install, and then we can run npm run dev. Now with control and click on the URL, we open it in the browser and we got it here. So now we can test it out. Let's select the image again, click analyze image. Looks better now, but we should get an error. We can also take a look here on our workflow and here go to executions in the middle. And as you can see, it's now running. So the webhook was triggered by the front end and it's now executing all nodes. And in a few seconds, we should see the failure. Or maybe here, success, but in the front end, it's not working. Yeah. The workflow is fine, but the front end, yeah, did not get any description provided by the AI because the output um, is not clear. So let's check here the locks. We see anything we need. No, we just have this one here. So let's go back to N8N. Open the respond web hook here. And here we can see the output structure. So let's copy this JSON, go back to Vault, and tell it um, that this is the response from the web hook. The response from the webhook looks 
like this. Make sure to use this in the UI as description. Okay, hopefully this is fixed now. Let's sync the files out again. The folder is pre-selected, so we just click select folder again. As you can see, it's now automatically restarting, reloading all files here in the console. And we can open the analyzer again. Let's clean the console. Choose the image here again. And let it analyze. Okay, it's done again. Let's see. But we still don't get the description here. So we got here the response, unexpected response format. Okay, good to have this logs. That's what I meant in the beginning. So just copy the whole logs and now we can provide it to the AI and tell it, make sure you use the response as provided by the webhook. Okay, changes are done. Sync again. It's reloading automatically. And we can try again. Let's quickly clean up the logs here and click analyze. Okay, this is done. Let's check in the front end. And this time we got our description in the front end as well. So as you can see, here is the description of this image, 44.5 gigabyte. We got this here, so everything working fine. And here we got the previous analyzers, so this is also good. Let's check what happens if we upload another one. Yeah, we got the new AI. Let's choose another image. Let's use one of my thumbnails and it should extract the text from here as well. Okay, we got the analysis here. I got a Heli Hansen hoodie, that's correct. Yeah, looks fine so far. If we reload, everything should be still there. Yeah, that's also working, but yeah, it's at the moment just in the browser cache. So if you want to persist this, you need to implement a bit more. Well, that's it for today's video. As you have seen, you can easily build your own applications and, and connect it to your N8N workflows easily and use them. Let me know in the comments what you think about it and what I should show next. See you.